Again, now GCS Consultancy is testing the quality of water in Johannesburg's Bromfontein Sprite. It's doing so at the annual Sprite Day cleanup that happens tomorrow. The researchers want to know how polluted the water is and what effect this is having on aquatic life. Well, GCS CEO Adam Gunn joining us now to tell us what it's all about. Adam, good evening and thanks for your time. Uh, so what is the purpose of the study? So the purpose is to determine uh, if the Sprite, the Bromfontein Sprite, is polluted. And if it is polluted, what the pollutants are in the river, the levels of pollution, and then um, to try and indicate where those pollutants are coming from. So you're going to embark, and this has been done, I understand, over the past couple of years, the, the spread river cleanup that's been done. You're joining uh, the, the cleanup. So if you Correct. do clean up, how are you going to determine this? So there, there are various components to the cleanup. As you say, it's been running for several years, mm. for six years. Uh, GCS has recently joined. Our role is to do the aquatic assessment, to do an accurate assessment. We need to do four of those over the course of a year because we need to do the assessment in low flow periods, which we've done in May, and there'll be one tomorrow. And then we'll do two high flow assessments, which is December and March. Over that period, you then have a, a reliable set of data. Mm -hmm. uh, XLab will then analyze that data for free and then will um, give us uh, the analysis and the results, and we'll be able to see what that is. So that's the one leg. Second leg is uh, education around that and involving the community. Mm -hmm. It's very much a community-based yes. uh, um, initiative. And then the third one is the actual physical cleanup, which will happen tomorrow with all the volunteers, and that happens on a monthly basis. Okay, so you well. do a samples and all of that and then embark on the... Correct. And Why this particular uh, river? So this is the main river flowing through Johannesburg. Uh, it rises, obviously, uh, on the watershed near Wits University, mm -hmm. flows all the way through past Emerentia, all the way through the northern suburbs, and then out to Hotter Bear Sport, eventually joining the Limpopo River. So, yeah, it, it's one of the major northern flowing rivers in South Africa. So what will it tell you? It will obviously tell you how polluted. Will it tell you what type of pollutants you're finding? And then will it help you identify who is polluting, who the polluters are? It will, yeah. uh, because we do a broad range of testing. So we're basically looking at, depending on the likely sources, uh, then we test for various constituents. So mm -hmm. that will be E. coli, and that could come from leaking sewers. It could come from defective sewage plants. We will test for hydrocarbons that can come from uh, petrol retail stations. We will test for nitrates, which comes from fertilizer, could be gardens, could be uh, golf courses. Um, and yes, it will give us an indication of where they're coming from. What we intend to do is to publish that information because it is uh, information that's in the public yeah. domain. Um, and then I think it, what happens next after that depends on the community involvement. And what about local government involvement? Surely you have to have some kind of contact with them if, if, you know, for any action to be taken against the culprits? Yeah, further action to be taken, that's obviously not our, our role. Uh, we will try and do it more on a partnership basis with uh, companies that either want to get involved and stop or improve what they're doing, or perhaps other companies who would like to get involved uh, in the cleanup. If there is an enforcement element, as you say, that's a, that's yeah. a government initiative. So do you share, do you work with them in any way? I'm not saying, you know, not that you would obviously impose penalties mm -hmm. or fines or anything, but, you know, do you work, do you take this information to them and say, look, this is what we found and, you know, you guys need to do something with this? Yeah, it, it will be publicly available um, and we will share that information with them. Then, you know, what happens after that, I guess, is, is, is up to the authorities. Okay, and if anybody wants to get involved in this effort, how Yes, do they? please. Uh, they can just Google uh, Sprite Cleanup, and they'll pick up the various articles, websites. There's a Facebook page. All the information is there. There are various points they can join, all the way from Emerentia out past Bryanston to the north. Uh, choose the point that's closest to you, and please come tomorrow and, uh, yeah, get involved. In this heat wave, I don't know how much river you're actually going to get by tomorrow. It might <laughs> and, be, and there's the, the rugby. Levels might, and, and there's, there's the, the rugby, rugby but come on, guys, <laughs> just an hour or so. You know, just do it before the sun. Is it before, uh, what time does it start? Uh, nine o'clock, okay. and we'll go for about an uh, hour and a half, two hours. And, okay, yeah. good luck. I look forward to finding out what it is you actually find in this, uh, in this cleanup. Thank you. So maybe come back to us with those findings. We will do Thank that. Thank you very much. That's a GCSCO, Adam Gunn.